Okay, I'm back again uh, with the uh, the other quests here in Barren Coast. Uh, Captain Zeke has three missions, basically. Task, quest, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we did the... Uh, we did the one where we killed the rats and stuff. Now let's do the uh, thieves. I'm not going to read all this stuff. But anyway, uh, click on the links and it will bring up the tasks you can select. Uh, I already did the wharf rats. I don't need to do that again. That's in the other video. Let's do stolen goods. And uh, you need to find evidence of Zeke's stolen goods. He says that he had two large crates stolen. One full of salted pork. And the other with various candies. His pleas for protection to the cartel guards were ignored uh, by Went, one of their leaders. Uncover both of these items and return to him with the evidence. Considering the problems he has had lately with traitors and mutineers, it's likely they may be at the bottom of this. <coughs> Perhaps if this evidence can be secured, Went will be forced to offer the cartel guards up for more protection. So let's go ahead and click on stolen goods and accept. All right. And it's hard for you to see this probably, but it says find evidence of stolen pork. You got to get one. Find evidence of stolen candy one. So you're going to loot one of each. Okay. I am... Going to pop a buffer here real quick. Get my guy ready here. Damage shield. And away we go. Alright, we're going to come out here. We're going to follow the coastline. Now, nothing is safe in this game, especially this zone. That has quite a bit of uh, aggro range. That is not a rock. It's an iron hide crocodile. There's beach snakes. There's undead. So you're going to have to find a way to either fight your way through this stuff or go around. Now, let's go around. Let's, let's play smart and go in the water. All right. We're in the water. We're avoiding stuff. There's some little fishies here. There's all kinds of good stuff going on. And let's look around and make sure. Yeah, I've got an eerie feeling. Not seeing anything. Let's hook our head up here. Get our bearings. Are we still near the coast? Yes. Oh, look at all that undead right there. All right. Well, look, whoa. What was that? I was going to head for this little outcropping. There's undead up there, too. There's undead everywhere over here. So you may end up fighting a little bit of it. But just remember it has a huge aggro range. Now there's some bad little animals over here too. So we're going to have to skirt these guys as best we can. Now if you've got invis like I do. And I'll go ahead and pop it. Alright, obviously the undead can see through regular invis. Ah, see? Huge aggro range. Well, I'll go ahead and let my little buddy kill this guy off. And I'm going to pop in this again. Yeah. Undead just loved to aggro me. Uh, by the way, there's snakes, uh, crocodiles... Maybe even alligators. I don't know. There's basilisks. A lot of them drop eggs. Uh, some are using trade skills. Some are not. Uh, for you trade skill junkies like me, uh, natural silk. Here, let me pop my inventory up real quick. When I killed those rats in the previous video, I got two natural silks. And uh, let's see. I thought I had something else good. Maybe not. Anyway. Okay, let's clear out our stuff here. Okay, these are the guys that drop the uh, stolen candy and stolen pork, and it's random. These are all static, 
spawns. And notice they're close together, so if you pull one, you'll probably pull two. So either have some crowd control or be ready for uh, uh, extended fight. And then you got these guys that, that roam, and they path along here mixed in with animals, and they come pretty close to the undead also. So I'm going to pull one over, maybe. There we go. Let's go ahead and attack him. And he died quickly, but keep in mind that I am level 92. So, anyway, uh, let's see. Salty pork remnants. You have decided not to loot. I, I've done this quest before, and so I turned it off. But we, you can see, salty pork remnants, no trade, and it's for that quest. So I'm going to loot that one. And while I was doing that, half stage completed, so we just need the stolen candy. Uh, I got hit by another roamer. Okay, let's see what he dropped here. Candy wrapper. Let's loot that and see what happens. There it is. That's it. So, pretty quickly, uh, I've completed that one. I just have to deliver him back to Captain Zeke. Uh, just to give you an idea, let's go ahead and kill some of these guys, since my pet will kill them pretty quickly. I want to make short videos, but <clears throat> I want to give you an idea of the drop rate. Okay, that said, decided not to loot a diary of a mutiny, which goes to a, another task or a quest. Okay, that one dropped two platinum, the one before dropped 25, the one before that 17, and the one before that 25. So quite a bit of money there. Uh, may have to do the 1,000 platinum challenge here. I didn't remember it dropping that much money. But that was quite a bit in a short time. I can't remember any of these guys dropping spells. But it's possible they did. 29 Platinum, Salty Pork Remnants, Diary of a Mutiny, Human Parts, Candy Wrapper. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Out of, what was that, 7 kills? Uh, the, the items you needed for the quest dropped twice. So, it's a high drop rate for those things. Alright, let's head on back and do the turn in. Again, I'm going to skirt the undead. And don't think you're safe from the undead up here either. Give me an idea. Now, this undead gives you quests and missions, but there's some other ones around there. You're probably going to get aggroed by something no matter what you do. Now, even if you avoid these these uh, ironhide crocodiles and stuff out here in the water and on the uh, islands, there are sharks out here in this water too. So just be aware of that. And let's get back to the dock. And do the turn in. Alrighty. That's good old Captain Zeke. Alright, here is our salty pork remnants. Alright, task stage completed, handy wrapper, task stage completed. And again, just like the uh, one with the wharf rats, uh, you get either faction or experience, and no matter which one you choose, you'll get 25 plat. Uh, let's do the faction one on this one with the black sail smugglers. And it says uh, your faction standing with black cell smugglers has been adjusted by five. So it's a positive five for these uh, quests that he gives. So, okay, well, thanks for watching. And uh, uh, I'll do one more and as a follow-up since I'm here. And they're pretty easy. And it's in within a small area. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.